What's up YouTube, I'm Jables. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening up the Star Wars The Black Series helmet. This is a Luke Skywalker X-Wing helmet made by Hasbro. This X-Wing helmet is an electronic helmet. It takes batteries and has a couple of different modes on it like the Battle of Yavin and the Battle of Hoth. And some, I think there's some lights that light up on it. So I can't wait to get into it here and take a closer look at it. Let's take a closer look at the box here real quick. You can see the nice picture of Luke Skywalker here with the, the shot of the helmet on there. And it says that it's got three internal speakers for surround experience. I'm not really interested in wearing the helmet and having that surround experience. I, bought, I mostly bought this for sh uh, display. We'll definitely put some batteries in here and test out the buttons and see what we got here. This side of the box, you get a nice side profile of Luke's helmet. Pretty cool. Uh, he's got some, some battle, uh, I think these are kill marks. I think these are 10 or 20 kills each and maybe 50 kills each, which is interesting because when Luke had this helmet uh, in the Battle of Yavin in the original Star Wars movie, there is no way that he had time to do any of these kills. So uh, I think it's thought that he inherited this helmet from another pilot that was injured or deceased possibly because um, he wasn't the original Red 5. But as you can see, there is definitely some kill marks there and the nice uh, rebel symbol here on the side. Once you put the batteries in here, you can switch between the two modes and uh, it says it has some LED lights that light up and speakers for an, Im an immersive battle simulation experience featuring enemy blaster fire FX and communication from R2-D2. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so there's another, there's the last side right there. Uh, my box is kind of beat up. Uh, this thing retails for about $99. I don't think you can find it for that price anymore. I think it's upwards of $125 plus now. I found this for a really good deal about a year ago for about $60, bucks, 65 bucks. So I uh, snatched it up and that was pretty good because I'm going to put it on display. I don't really care what the box looks like. So let's open it up and see what we got. Take a quick peek at the packaging just to see how this is packaged in here. Uh, I don't know if it comes in one piece or not. Uh, it looks like it might come in one piece. I know when I opened up this the uh, incinerator trooper helmet, I had to put it together in a few pieces. So, oh, okay. It comes wrapped. That's nice. So it doesn't get all scuffed up. But nothing else in the box here. So we'll get rid of that. No batteries included. So you got to bring your own batteries. All right. So here's Luke's helmet right here. Actually has some pretty decent paint apps and weathering effects to it, uh, better than I thought. So you can see it's real dirty. It's definitely been used and handed down to Luke. I don't remember what this symbol is. If anybody knows, let me know down below. I can't remember what that means exactly. I know there's different symbols for like bomber, bomber squads and fighter squads and stuff like that. Maybe this is an attack group. Um, you get his classic yellow glass visor on the front and that's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, the paint looks really cool, man. I like all these blaster marks on it. For being a, a, you know, a Hasbro piece, this is actually pretty awesome. I like it a lot. Taking a look at the inside of the helmet here, you can see that it has a microphone, which is I don't, not a real microphone, but you can bend this out and display it when you're wearing it to get in the, get in the role-playing mode. Um, there's a switch back here which I think is, uh, that must be switching modes between Hoth and, oh, there's an on, off, one's Hoth and one is uh, Battle of Yavin, or the Death Star. And there's some little buttons on the inside here. There's some earpieces and stuff that come with it that you gotta stick in there. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. The tinting on the helmet is easy to see through, so when you put it on, uh, you can definitely see what you're doing, so that is a plus, you know. I think I put the Stormtrooper helmet on and I can't see anything. It's not very comfortable either, so hopefully this thing is a little more comfortable. So it comes with two earpieces here that go on the side of the helmet that look pretty cush. This already seems like it's going to be way more comfortable than a Stormtrooper helmet. And it comes with another pad that uh, goes on the back or the top to, for the top of your cranium. And last but not least, it comes with a chin strap so you can keep it bolted to your head. And some instructions on how to put all that into the helmet and where to put the batteries. So the batteries are going to go in the back underneath this little tab right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the batteries in. 
put all these accessories on it real quick and then we'll have another look. All right, here it is with everything installed. Um, it does fit my head. I don't have a particularly large head, so it fits pretty easily. I know if you have a, a larger head, this might be a tight fit. You can move these around a little bit up and down. There's two pieces of Velcro that's holding it on and uh, you just kind of move it around. You do need to put the straps on the inside of the ear pieces though, so that's kind of awkward. You would think they go behind them, but I think if you put them behind them, they'll rip them out if you pull the chin strap down. But it looks really awesome with the padding in there. It looks uh, pretty authentic for, you for how much this costs. It looks pretty cool. There's a button on the side of the helmet right here, and this activates all the electronic noises. It doesn't do anything until you switch it into on mode. The little switch that's in the back here has a, a central neutral position, which is off. And then right or left is Battle of Hoth or Battle of uh, Yavin. I'm not sure which one this is. I just switched it to, but let's see if we can hear R2. It's really difficult because um, all the, the speakers are on the inside of the helmet, so. It's R2 talking to you. And then one of these has lights that come out of here. Let's, yeah, there you go. You can hear the uh, X-Wing. This sounds like this is Hoth and you're doing a run on the uh, ATSTs and ATATs here. If you want to get in the role playing mood, this definitely has some pretty cool options for it. But um, these light up effects look really cool when you're actually wearing the helmet because they're kind of flashing above your face and it looks like you're taking blaster fire. So that is really awesome. I do like that they put that in there. Uh, overall, this is a really freaking sweet helmet um, for a Star Wars collector. I think you couldn't ask for better than this for the price. This is this, this classic Luke Skywalker helmet, and uh, I can't wait to put it in the shelf and see what it looks like. One thing I wanted to do when I got these helmets unboxed is I wanted to make sure I was displaying properly. Browsing the internet for way too long, I, I stumbled upon a company on Etsy called Blue Dog Displays, and they sell these really cool stands. Let me show you here. Um, that are specifically made for the Black Series. Now you can put whatever you want on them. They're made out of plastic and they come in three pieces. You put them together with PVC. But what kind of stood this apart for me is you can get the Black Series plaques that come with them that'll sit in front of the helmet. They have every helmet that Black Series has made available for you to select when you select the stand. And uh, these were about $33, so a little pricey compared to a regular stand. But I think having this metal um, etched plaque in front of it just makes it that much cooler. Just kind of sits down in the front like that and your helmet goes on top. Just like that. I think this makes the helmet stand out that much more when you're putting them on display to have a cool plaque down below that lets you know where they're from or what, what it is and whose helmet it is and stuff like that. So yeah, I think this is definitely Worth checking out if you want to have a cool display to put on your Black Series helmets on. You can make custom hel uh, plaques if you, if you don't want these ones. I think it's cool that they sit in a little slot like that. So if you want to uh, just buy more plaques and not more stands and rotate your helmets out, you can just uh, swap the things back on. I'll leave the info for Blue Dog Displays down below and so you can uh, check them out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, or their website if you are interested in buying. I'm definitely going to buy more of these, probably three more for the other side of my Modicase display, so we'll have a total of six helmets on there. Let's get this on the turntable real quick and see what it looks like. That looks really epic on the display stand, I'm not going to lie. I really like the way this looks. It's going to look really awesome in the display cabinet. What do you guys think about the display stand and the little plaque on the front? Is that something that you would buy or uh, would you buy something a little more generic or just let it sit on the ground? Let me know down below. But now we can take it and actually go put it in the module case and see how it looks all lit up inside the display case. And here we have Luke's helmet inside the module case display here with the uh, bright white lighting on it. And I think it looks pretty epic in the stand here, especially with the uh, Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet plaque in front of it. Really awesome helmet to have on display. I can't wait to put Darth Vader on the same side here as Luke and uh, Boba Fett also will have all three of them on one side and then we'll do some Mandalorian helmets on the other side. Let's go take a look at the side profile of this helmet while it's in the case now. Here's a nice side shot of the helmet here. I like how the lighting in the case kind of gives it a dramatic effect with it being real bright on the front and kind of fades dark as it goes back. 
looks really epic in this case. So what do you guys think about this Luke Skywalker helmet? Do you guys collect Black Series helmets? Uh, do you think they're good or bad or they're not good enough quality for the price? Let me know down below what you think. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time.